YouTube friends, my name is Linda Dolkey and I'm a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! in Australia. And today we're making this really cute gift card holder. I just love it. It's a gift card holder and a card all in one. Just fabulous for Christmas. I've made a fast version of this video and the full instructional video, whichever one floats your boat. Have a great day and enjoy the video. So our project today is this fabulous gift card holder for, uh, this is for Christmas 2019, although of course you could do it for any Christmas you like. And the set that I'm using for this today is the fabulous Christmas Time Is Here Suite, which features this beautiful Christmas rose stamp set. Um, also, when you open it up, I'm just undoing the ribbon here at the side, when you open up this gorgeous gift card holder you'll see I've included some of the Christmas rose Christmas time is here paper DSP uh, this little piece here opens out so that you can write a greeting a little message in here with some other um, you know a little bit of stamping and um, the beautiful DSP featured on either side and then here is the gift card holder um, I've actually attached my gift card in this case it's my uh, frequent flyer points but um, you could use, of course, any gift card that you might have from any store. They're all the same size. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make this whole thing. It is not hard, but um, I've prepared all the pieces individually for you. I'm actually really proud of this little project because it came together so beautifully. Um, and I think you're really going to like it. So here we go. Okay, first up, I'm pulling in all the different pieces that you're going to need. Now, I've written down next to me here um, the measurements for all of these pieces and I'm going to go through them with you and um, I'll also put the measurements up on the screen. So the most important piece is this is the, the base of the gift card holder and it's uh, I've used in this case cherry cobbler a, uh, cardstock and I have measured it out to be five and a half inches my measurements today are in inches five and a half inches by eight and a quarter inches now if you're in Australia or in the UK and you're using A4 paper A4 paper is 21 centimeters wide which is like the tiniest bit of eight and a quarter inches you could leave it just at the full width of the A4 paper and it would give you the it's close enough it's going to give you the right um, dimensions so I've then scored this on the long side you might be able to see here I've got two score lines and my scores I use my paper trimmer for this so I'll just bring that in. Here's my um, Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. These have been re-released. These are our new paper trimmers. I'm really, really loving mine. Um, the great news about them is they've dropped the price of these compared to the old trimmers. So right now in Australia, these are $44. Um, the old ones were $50. So uh, nice to have a little price decrease. Um, and it does all the same basic stuff that the old trimmer did. It's a bit lighter in weight. Um, so good if you're traveling or carrying it around. It still has the arm that comes out. And you can see here's my eight, 21 centimeters or eight and a quarter inches by five and a half wide. And here's my score line. So when we've, we've got the, the cutting blade and the scoring blade in here, if I'm going to do scoring, I make sure I push my cutting blade out of the way because I don't want to accidentally use that and chop up my piece of paper instead of score it. You do need to lift it at the top and I'm scoring at four inches right here and also four and a quarter so I'm moving it along a little bit to the four and a quarter mark so I'm also doing all of this today will be in inches all right so we've got our two score lines here and so this is going to sit really well for you what you want to do is fold on those score lines and give them a good push down with your bone folder both score lines and it's going to form the spine of your gift card holder. There we go. And then you can just set that aside for the moment. Okay. Um, I'm going to work on the front first. So for this, I have used a piece of gold foil paper. You can see here. And I've cut this piece to be uh, three and three quarter inches wide by five and a quarter long okay that's the measurements of that piece and then I have two white pieces now I've already done the stamping in advance just so this video won't be too long um, if you're interested in seeing how I stamped this um, I did do another video on that so I'll put up on the screen right now 
the um, the date that that video and the name of that video is so that um, you can go and have a look at that if you wish. So I've already gone ahead and chopped this up and then this piece here is going to end up on here. So um, you could, um, on my original, you might see I've actually embossed my Merry Christmas. Um, you could do that if you wish. Or today what I've done is I've actually used the um, Christmas rose dies to cut out the sentiment. So either looks really, really nice. I'm just going to use some uh, dimensionals and pop that on. So just to use a couple of those there. Whoop, I just realized I didn't take the backing off. And that's going to go quite nicely over there. You can have it sitting wherever you like, but um, I'm going to. You can use snail or you can use tombow, whichever you prefer. I'm using tombow right here. Just get it to come down. I like tombow when I'm putting cardstock onto cardstock. If I'm using a designer series paper or a really lightweight paper, then I might go with snail. Uh, snail adhesive there we go so that's the front now whoops and the thing with Tombow is you can actually slide it into place which is great you just need to be careful it doesn't slide where you don't want it <laughs> all right now as you might imagine this is going to go on the front here but first of all we've got to do our ribbon so I have here, you could use, um, there's beautiful ribbon that comes with this suite called, uh, it's gold glitter ribbon, which is just lovely. But I'm actually going to use the stripy uh, cherry cobbler and white striped ribbon, which is just beautiful. Um, I'm just going to, whoops, I've got it in a knot. All right. So what I want to do is I want to wrap this around my, my piece here. And starting from the edge, so hopefully you can see this okay, this edge here, I'm moving to the side, to the zero, I'm measuring here on my grid paper. If you don't use grid paper, um, that's something you might want to add to your, um, to your um, collection because grid paper is great for getting things straight and making quick measurements on the fly. And the amount of um, ribbon that I want for this from the zero from this edge I want it out to the seven inch mark so I want it seven inch seven inches from the edge here so that's where I'm going to cut that and that gives me plenty you can always cut it shorter if you need to but you can't add on so you might as well start with a good long piece there we go right. so I'm not going to glue that down or anything like that I'm just going to hold that in place and I'm going to decide where I want my ribbon going. You can have it so it's right in the middle. Um, on my original, where is it? Here it is. I actually had it so it's just below halfway, which I actually quite like. I like it a little bit um, not quite in the middle, but that's totally up to you. You can have it in the middle if you want to. So I'm going to go here with my Tombow again and holding that. So it's where I want it to be. You could glue that down a little bit if you wanted to, I guess, but I don't even worry about it. I just let the glue behind my gold piece here, my front, I'm letting that do all the sticking. So you just want to give that a good old push. Now, obviously, you don't have if you don't have this set, you could make this same gift card holder with any. Uh, paper or stamping that you wanted to do it's not quite stuck yet but that's okay all right we're just going to set that aside to dry for a moment and we're going to move on to our next piece so the next piece that's inside if you have a look here all right we're going to work on the gift card holder part itself okay and the first thing I want you to do you have well, what we need here is we need four. Where are they all? 
four envelopes from the note cards and envelopes pack. I'll put the details of that up on the screen for you as well. So there's four of them. One that's going to be for the gift card holder and the other three are for the inserts here. So right now I just need one because we're working on this one. So grab the one and what you're going to do is you're going to lick it closed just like you're sending an envelope. Okay, we're going to close it. Then I'm going to bring my paper trimmer back in. And I am going to put this in and cut off the tiniest, tiniest piece of the top of the envelope that I possibly can. Okay, and what I've now done, of course, is I've created a pocket. Okay, can you see that there? All right. So the pocket is where the gift card the gift card um, is going to end up going inside the pocket. Then on top of this, I need one of my cherry cobbler pieces. Now I have uh, four cherry cobbler pieces, and they are measured to be you ready four and seven eighths of an inch by three and three eighths of an inch. Okay, so measure these four cherry cobbler pieces to be four and seven eighths by three and three eighths. Okay, and I need one. The other three are going with the other three envelopes, but right now I'm doing the one that's gonna go on here. So if I've taken just a tiny, tiny slither off, this is gonna be the right side. This is why you don't wanna take too much off your envelope or this piece will be too big, all right? And I'm going to get one of my pieces of DSP this one because I quite like this and if you can see it's got these beautiful gold roses on it and this time using snail because it's the DSP that we're working with you might prefer to have the back side of this this is nice too they're both lovely right, I'm actually going to position that onto there like that just need to make sure it goes so that it's got a a little bit of cherry cobbler showing all the way around the outside, just like that. Okay, can you see that there? Now which way will I go? Hmm, I think I'll go this way. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna glue that piece to the gift card, and sorry, the note card envelope. So you could use Snail or Tombow, whichever you prefer for this. I'm going Tombow, but totally up to you. Just going to pop that so there's a little bit of white showing all the way around just like that so now we have a decorated pocket that has this lovely DSP piece on the front see that there now this is where we're going to get a little bit tricky we're going to make this notch see how there's a notch here I'll just pull the gift card out for a second there's this notch here all right so I'm going to show you how I did that I'm using the smallest circle from the layered circles dies. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it inside here so that half goes over the edge. I'm centering it so the same amount of distance here is here. And this is going to cut this notch. Okay, and it will go through all three layers quite well. Um, now, the thing you want to make sure is that the cutting edge is facing up because if you put it on top, and put the cutting edge down, you're going to go through the whole lot. You're going to go through the bottom layer as well. And we only want to go through the top layer so that we still have this piece intact and then this piece has a notch. So we're going to put it inside and we're going to face that up, okay, so that you can see half of it. So it looks a bit like a sunrise coming out of there. Oh, there we go. All right. I'm just going to whack that, whack that through my die cutting machine and I'll be right back. All right, so it's cut through the top, not through the bottom. You see that there like that. Okay, so our pocket is actually done. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some Tombow on the back of my pocket and I'm actually going to glue it inside my gift card holder. Okay, so this now is nice and secure. That's The glue is now holding that ribbon in place quite nicely. And I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to glue this so it's centered right inside. So from this score line here to the edge, it's right in the middle. And I'm just going to push that down. Okay, 
Now we're going to work on the insert. You have a piece, I'm using a piece of Mossy Meadow cardstock. Um, and for this, what size is it? I've written it down. Do you think? Oh, here it is. It's uh, three and a quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. Okay, three and a quarter by four and three quarters. All right, and that is the right size to go inside here. All right, so a couple of things I did for this. Um, if you have a look at my original one, where did I put that? There it is. Okay, I've rounded off the corners and then I stapled a ribbon on here at the top. And that's one option. It's quite quick and easy. Um, I just folded my ribbon over and put a staple straight through. That's one option for you. Um, to round off the corners, I'm using my trio punch. So I'm just going to pop that in there. I don't know if you've seen these trio punches. They're great. Um, and very easy to use. You've just got to make sure you do line it up properly inside the holes. And when you go to push, you just push straight from above and you see it rounds off those corners beautifully. Okay, now I'm going to give you an alternative way. If you didn't want to actually staple the ribbon, we also have this little, um, this little guy here, which is like a, a little hole. A little hole punch and there's a center line here so that what you can do is you can put this in the center line indicates exactly where the hole is going to line up um, and all I'm doing is making sure that I've got the same amount of cardstock sticking out here as I do out here that way it's going to be right in the middle and push and that puts a hole in the middle now for this version I'm just going to use some more of the cherry cobbler ribbon Mm. Now before I do this, there is also a third, it's called a trio punch for a reason. So we've got the corner rounder, we've got the hole, but we've also got this cute little flower detail. If you wanted to, you could use that over the corners, same way as we did the, um, the corner rounder, and it will put this little flower design in. Here's, a, here's an example of one I did earlier, and that's the little flower design. You can leave the corners straight or you can round them off, and as you can see, it looks quite nice. All right, so that's another option for you as well. But this one, we're just going to do it plain. I'm just going to put my um, ribbon through the hole. And I'm going to chop that off. Whoop, I've, got, I've got stuff everywhere. Give me a second. All right, so that's going there. All right, just like that. And then for this, I actually really like this um, way of doing um, ribbon on a tag or something like this is I use a little bit of twine rather than trying to tie the ribbon and sometimes especially for some ribbons that don't tie as nicely it can be hard to keep them flat and we definitely want it to be flat so all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that there and I'm just going to tie you can tie a knot or you can tie a bow totally up to you so I'm just um, holding that with my finger and pulling it tight and then I'm just going to tie a quick bow sorry about next door neighbors dog barking it's a bit annoying isn't it we don't have a yuppie little dog <laughs> that's next door neighbors all right and it always seems to um, yap when I'm doing videos, I've noticed lately. <laughs> Never mind. All right. And that's all you need to do with that. And then all I did here with my gift card was I put a couple of glue dots behind it and stuck it on. See, I just stuck it on with a glue dot. So easy. And they can put it back in again a few times before it runs out of stick. But certainly to give to somebody, that's a great way to go. So your um, your card goes straight onto the gift card holder insert. All right. So now we've got our piece inside and we've got the gift card holder insert. There we go. Just like that. And you can, of course, chop these off as short. That's a bit long. I'll chop them off shorter. for now all right so the rest of it actually that's the hard stuff done all the hard bit is done and I don't think I would call that too hard I think it's pretty good um, the rest of it is very very simple we have now 
two pieces of DSP left. Now the DSP pieces, you've got three. You've got the one that's on, on here and then two more. I've used all three designs of paper from this beautiful Christmas time is here, beautiful paper. Um, and those DSP pieces are four and three quarters of an inch by three and one quarter. All three of them are the same measurement. And you also need two white pieces which are the same size also, four and three quarter by four uh, three and one quarter and that is the same size you have two of those one of them is to go inside where we're, that we're about to use and the other one is the piece that we used on the outside okay so which you, you would stamp whatever design you would like all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our envelopes now I originally saw this idea done by the very very clever Patty Bennett a couple of years ago uh, no it might have been last year where she was making these beautiful concertina cards with um with some um, note card envelopes and I made a few of those myself and love them and I made them with my stamp clubs and they love them um, but I have found they're good for other things too so let's let's make this work it's just lovely what you want to do is you want to put the envelope down with the flap up put it down here and then we're going to turn all of our envelopes the same way lay them all out in front of you so you've got them all up with the flap up and facing the same direction so making the um, the flap is on the right hand side okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first one the one on my left I'm going to lick it closed as if I'm going to close it and then I'm actually going to put a row of snail as well to the right hand side of that score line then I'm going to get the next envelope and I am going to line that up with that score line so it's facing the same way and I'm going to stick it down all right, so now I have two envelopes stuck together. I'm going to do the same thing with the next one. Piece of snail here. And before, don't close it. What we're going to do is we're going to stick the next envelope onto that one. So we're making like the concertina cards that Patty did last year and that I did last year. Um, we're making them just like that. All right, and then this last one, I'm actually going to lick this one closed. I'm only doing um, three, but you could have them go on for much longer if you wanted to. If you made them go too long, you would need to make a wider spine here to fit them all in. But um, when we just have this many, that small spine is fine. Okay, and then basically we're going to be decorating these with the three leftover cherry cobbler pieces so remember we had four of those one went on the one went on the gift card hold a bit and now the other three are going to go in here so let's make these we've also got the DSP pieces so I'm going to put some snail on the back of these one here and one here just like that and also on the back of this DSP piece. Now you can choose which one you want to do, but the reason I wanted to have one white one was so I have somewhere to write. So I made that the middle piece, if you look at the original, when you pull these out. My white one is here and you can see I've stamped a little bit over the edges of it so I think I'll do that too I've got um, one of these little uh, pine cone pine needle -y kind of stamps from the Christmas rose set and I'm just going to stamp that over this corner it looks really nice I'm going to fill in that edge as well there we go that's probably enough just like that all right and then I'm going to put this one um, you could edge around it if you wanted to with a bit of sponging totally up to you I'm not going to bother in this case this one is going to go right here yeah so now I have my three pieces do you see that and this is how I would like them to sit so here's the thing 
if you wanted to you can make this into a mini album as well I've just made mine like a card like a fancy card and if you're doing that all you want to do is stick these down on all four sides however because we opened these little envelopes up if you wanted to you could make it like a mini album and have photographs or something else hidden in here so for example if I was to only put my glue around three sides and leave this side open there's a pocket here created by the envelope and I could leave that open and stash something inside if I wanted to. So that's kind of a cute idea for a gift if that's the way you want to go. I'm actually not doing that today. I'm going to glue mine closed because I just want to have it as a pretty card slash gift card holder and that's fine. So I'm going to put this down. go this one I'm going to put in the middle I find Tombow really good to give you the um, nice stable firm adhesive that you need for a project like this and it's pretty quick as you can see and this is the last one Well, it is the 1st of December today, which means it is time to be thinking about gifts. So gift cards, I find gift cards are a great gift. The only problem with them is they can feel a little impersonal. Um, and this is a way of making your gift card really personal. So you can make it that it's a beautiful gift, even though the gift card part of it itself is just a card, but this part is totally lovely and it shows that your recipient you show your recipient that you are thinking of them because you made them something beautiful so the way this goes it folds on itself like this and you could always give that a bit of a squash down as well with your bone folder just to make sure it's going to sit nice and flat okay you can if you want to decorate um, with some words so I've already pre-cut a couple of these little guys you can see here on the original I put um, some other sentiments from the same stamp set on here this one just says wishing you the gifts of the season peace and joy and this one is made this christmas fill your heart with warmth and love and i used a little bit of the gold glitter um, ribbon under that as well but um, i thought they came together really really nicely the last step of course is that you need to glue the whole thing in together so let me just whack some tombow behind here Getting a little bit low on Tombow in that one, I think. All right, so here we go. I'm opening this up. Got our gift holder hold up here on this side. And then this little guy, just the one gets glued inside this piece here. Give it a good old push down to make sure it adheres, it adheres well. And then you can see the whole thing comes together beautifully and you've got room here to write a message to this person that you are giving this beautiful gift and gift card, card holder to because I think that makes a beautiful gift. I hope you like it. It's It was a really fun project to create um, and um, I did it with my stamp clubs this month which they all enjoyed and I hope you've loved it too. So there you go. That's how we make ourselves a gift card holder very special for this Christmas.